Let's find all the critical numbers for the function x to the 4 fifth times x minus 4 to the second power. We have to get its first derivative first, and then try to find out where the first derivative is equal to 0, and also find out where the derivative doesn't exist. Let's get to work. f prime of x. This is a product of two things, so we have to use the product rule. I will keep the first function, x to the 4 fifth, times the derivative of the second, and based on the look, as you can see, we have something to the second power. So for the derivative, I have to bring the 2 to the front and keep the inside. So I have the x minus 4. 2 minus 1 is 1, so it doesn't matter. And then as a good habit, you should look inside of the parentheses to see what you have. Because of the chain rule, you have to take the derivative of the inside. But the derivative of x is just 1, so it doesn't matter. That's a good habit I'll just show you. Look at this, times 1. You always use the chain rule, but in this case, it doesn't matter. And we are going to add the second part. I'm continuing with my product rule. So we have the x minus 4 to the second power. And I will multiply by the derivative of the first. x to the 4 fifth. I will bring the power to the front. So I have 4 fifth. I will take away 1 from the exponent. So 4 fifth x to the 4 fifth minus 1 is negative 1 over 5. Mm -hmm. And now, perhaps we can do some algebra to clean this better. We see that we have the x minus 4 here, and then this is x minus 4 squared, so that's a common factor. We can factor this out. I will factor this out, x minus 4. And for the leftover, the first part, 2 times 1 is 2, and that. So we have the 2x to the 4 over 5 power. We will add, originally I have the second power, but I took one of the factor out. I will still have um, x minus 4. And then I have the 4 over 5 right here. Maybe I can put that in the front, 4 over 5. And this is x to the negative 1 fifth. So that goes down to the denominator. So I will just put this as x to the positive 1 over 5. Let me write this better for you guys. 4 over 5, and then one of the factor, this is on the top, x minus 4, and then this goes down to the denominator, so x to the positive 1 over 5. Instead of these parentheses, we can add the fractions. Let's get the common denominator ready. I will need to have 5x to the 1 fifth for the first one. I will do that. I will multiply the bottom by 5x to the 1 fifth, and I will do that on the top as well, 5x to the 1 fifth. And then to the next step, I have still have the x minus 4, and then inside here, they both have the same denominator, which is 5x to the 1 fifth. This part, we have 2 times 5, which is 10. And this is x to the 4 fifth times x to the 1 fifth. We add the exponents. 4 fifth plus 1 fifth is 5 over 5. Namely, we have 1 for the exponent for the x. Altogether, this is x to the first power. And for this part, of course, we can distribute the 4 into the parentheses. So we are talking about 4x minus 16. And of course, finally, this is 10x plus 4x, that's 14x. And altogether, on the numerator, I have x minus 4. And then the numerator for this part, we have 14x minus 16. And this is the denominator for that. 5x to the 1 over 5. And that is the derivative. OK, so for f prime equal to 0, we are talking about this as being the derivative in the you know, best form possible that we can get is, let me emphasize here, is the first derivative. To get f prime is equal to 0, what we need to do is, all we care about is just the top. When we have a fraction, as long as the top is equal to 0, the whole fraction will be 0, assuming the bottom is like nothing crazy. So I will just have to set the top equal to 0, namely x minus 4, times 
14x minus 16 equals to 0. And this is the top equal to 0. I can solve this. This is x minus 4 equal to 0. And break this apart. 14x minus 16 equals to 0. For this part, I know this is x is equal to 4. One of my answer. This part, bring the 16 to the front, uh, to the to the right. 14x equals to 16. And then here I can divide both sides by 14. And x will be, I can reduce this by 2, namely I get 8 over 7. Second answer. For the critical numbers, we also have to check out to see where f prime um, does not exist. In that situation, we go back to this form. It's a fraction. Then you are going to get a number that does not exist when you have the bottom is equal to 0. Okay? So in this case, we are going to set the bottom equal to 0. So that's the 5x to the 1 fifth equals to 0. And in this situation, of course, we will get x is equal to 0. You can divide by 5 on both sides and then raise, raise to the fifth power, you get x equal to 0. In this situation, you have to kind of make sure though, because 0 is actually inside of the domain of the original function, so it is a critical number. And usually, um, you know, we wouldn't do things that's too crazy, but then, anyways, one of the answer, second answer, and the standard, and the standard, third answers for this. That's all.